the Film Learning 60K short film competition with over $1,000 in prizes is now on. Head to filmlearn.com to download your entry pack and to enter your short film. Hey guys, and welcome to Film Learning Masterclass. This time on the show, we're talking all about YouTube. Now, I want to preface this whole series by saying that I don't know it all. I'm not a million sub channel, and I'm not out there buying Lamborghinis, but what I do have is a channel with over 300 videos with a 98% like ratio that hasn't stopped growing in subscribers for over three years. And I've also made mistakes, and that's important. I've made them so you don't have to. So while I might not be the most successful person on this platform, I like to think that I have some knowledge to impart to you, and today I thought I'd start with the basics. A few questions that you should really ask yourself if you wanna one, grow your fan base, and two, retain that fan base over time. Now the first question you should really ask yourself is this, what is my channel about and what do I want it to be? For me, my channel was initially about me posting my parody videos at random intervals. I mean, some did well, some didn't, and I struggled getting past 100 subs for over two years. Now, when I finally started to make my show film learning, I asked myself this very question. Having a mission statement or just deciding on a genre of video you wanna produce helps greatly. Why? Because you can focus on being great at one thing. If you produce, say, three, four, five different types of videos and you're just starting out, you're splitting your focus and it's harder to improve on any of them. Now, once you've decided what your channel is about, it's time to ask yourself the second question. Is anyone doing what I want to do on my channel? And if so, how can I make it better or unique? Let's take a look at my show Film Learning as an example. There are hundreds, if not thousands of tutorial channels on YouTube. When I decided to make Film Learning, I said to myself, I wanna make a tutorial show that's entertaining, short, but still informative and detailed at the same time. It was also very important that the show was as much about my personality as it was about the effects on display. So I wrote the first episode of the show with all this in mind. I came up with a style, an intro phrase, and a sign off. And that's something that remains to this day, 166 episodes and three years later. Just have a look at the first episode. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And we'll see you next time. Keep learning. And here's our 166 episode. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And keep learning. Now these are things that make my show stand out from all other tutorial shows on YouTube. They are unique to my channel. So that's something you need to come up with. Whether it's a phrase, an intro, a thumbnail, just make sure that you stand out from the pack and in a good way. The third question you wanna ask yourself is a pretty brutal one. Why would someone watch my videos? Now the question itself might not be that brutal, but the analysis needs to be. Watch some of your videos, and I mean really watch them. I encourage you to even take notes. Think about every bad thing you can spot in the videos and put yourself in the shoes of someone discovering your content for the first time. And be honest, would you wanna watch it? Now this might be a painful process, but it allows you to pick out some of the major flaws in your content and it allows you to say to yourself, I know what I can do to improve. Now, if you look at your content and say, nah, it's perfect, you're full of crap. Let's take a look at some examples from my channel. My entire series of Mo Diddly music videos, while they might be entertaining in a cringy sort of way, there's no room for any growth beyond that. You watch one video, and you've seen them all. If I watched this personally, I wouldn't see any reason to subscribe or watch it again beyond that first viewing. As another example, my cooking videos. They were uploaded so far apart that they never had any chance to gain any traction. They were also far too complicated to put together, and it was kind of a weird jolt for my channel. Another example is my old channel trailer. You can really see that issues at the forefront. I was making too many different types of videos, and I was confusing my audience and burning myself out. When I started making film learning and it became successful, that became the sole focus of my channel. And over time, my subs and views began to grow. And the fourth question, and you might say the most important one is, why would they subscribe? And why will they come back? Your content needs to be compelling enough for a viewer to make a commitment to it. You might think that someone hitting that subscribe button is a fleeting decision, but it's not. They've watched your video and said, I like this and I wanna see more from them. There's no bigger encouragement than that on this platform. So you've gotta respect that. And how do you do that? 
you listen to them. For an example, my show Film Learning is 100% request-based content. This is how I serve my subscribers and it's how I demonstrate to them that I'm reading their comments and that I'm listening to them. Now your content might not work on requests, so how do you interact with your audience? You can ask them questions that they can answer, you can ask them to comment, and more importantly, that they see the results of those comments or requests in your future videos. It's also important to respond to as many comments as you can, especially when you're starting out. It shows you engage with your audience. So guys, those are the four questions you should really ask yourself when either starting up a YouTube channel or even if you have an established channel that's now either plateaued or it's losing subs. It's really just about evaluating where you are and where you'd like to go. What's my channel about? How can I make it unique? Why would someone watch? And why would they subscribe? It might seem simple, but being able to answer these questions honestly is a massive help. Now guys, make sure you tune into the next episode where I'll be talking about channel art, thumbnails, playlists, and more. And then our third episode will be focused on adding production value to your videos. Our fourth episode will go behind the scenes on my show and showcase my production workflow through writing, shooting, and editing. And our final episode will be focused on tips to grow. And hey, if there's a subject you want me to cover, fire a comment down below. So guys, if you enjoyed the first episode of YouTube Masterclass, please smash that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single episode. We have some more great videos uh, over here. Or if you want to join me on my social media, I've got the Facebook and the Twitter right up there. But until episode two rolls around very shortly, keep learning.